Ajime, I wish I met this person. I wish I met this person in a club. It would have been better. I wish I met this man in a club. It would have been better. But no, I didn't meet the person in the club. I met this person in church. I met the person in church. And they did this to me. And they did this to me. Hiya. Hello guys. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Talk and Soon. It's me, Ogeji. Welcome once again. So for this video, I'll be talking about all things to do with maintaining your virginity to marriage as um, it's a very sensitive topic. I'm going to try and be sensitive in my talk. For this video, I'm going to be talking about why you should know the reason why you wish to be a virgin and the reason why you should never keep your virginity for a man or for your future husband or for anything that is of yourself. Don't also do not keep your virginity for yourself. So what inspired this video is from a movie that I watched and it's called Hope Paradise. Hope Paradise is a Nigerian movie featuring Shegun and Rinze and another um, actress that I'm not familiar with but her screen name is called Amanda in that movie. So I did a detailed discussion about her or about the movie when I did my video about sexual healing from sexual traumas or so sexual assaults and harassments. So I'll still give you a quick background on what this whole storyline is about and then I'll give you a reason why this movie inspired me to do this video because I have been reflecting on the movie for, for some time and I felt like every single time I reflect on it, it teaches you something different about sexual assault and its impact on you, especially if you're coming from a Christian background. And this is why this video is titled for Christians. Read. Okay, so it's not to discriminate anyone as anyone can benefit from this advice if they're following this principle. However, because it's taught in the Christian world or in the Christian religion that you should maintain your virginity to marriage, um, then this is the reason why I'm attributing it to Christians, um, to be precise. But this video is also equally good for those who are practicing celibacy and wish to maintain their uh, sex life until marriage. So, <laughs> listen, I've had a lot of stories about people being, I guess, heartbroken, um, especially people coming from a Christian background, to the extent that you say, assuming, I wish I met this person. I wish I met this person in a club. It would have been better. I wish I met this man in a club. It would have been better. But no, I didn't meet the person in the club. I met this person in church. I met the person in church. And they did this to me. And they did this to me. That's the kind of anger you are like, wow. Hmm. Wow. And then you're like, the next thing you hear, the other one is turning to, uh, going to become a pastor. You're like, hey. Okay, wow. Wow. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> so, I've been, yeah, I've been reflecting a lot about um, healing from sexual traumas and, I guess, sexual harassment or sexual abuse and then that this video i guess the idea of doing this follow-up of that video that i did on healing on sexual assault and harassment came into my mind to follow it up on the reasons why you should not keep your virginity for yourself or for any man okay and here is it my here are my reasons and i will get to you to the reasons why you should keep your virginity if you are maintaining it um, and maintain uh, celibacy. So I'm going to do a bit of reading because I've done a bit of practice in terms of writing out notes to guide my thoughts. Okay. So if I'm looking down, that's because I'm reading. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Sex. Okay. As a form of intimacy is among the things that helps our body and also helps 
in its regulation of hormones. Okay, it occupies a unique place in our brain and in our body and its position cannot be taken by anything else so if anything just know that about sexual intercourse or sexual intimacy now please note that my channel is not really about talking about sexual intercourse because i as i'm speaking to you looking as if i'm confident i am always nervous when i speak about these things and i don't like speaking about it but that video really inspired me to speak about these things so that i can help other female christians who are struggling okay with their sexual desires hey sexual healing sexual healing is <laughs> good for you <laughs> sex sexual. okay anyways let's go let's go let's just let's get back into things so yep sex um as a form of sexual intercourse occupies a unique place in your mind and this is the reason why you feel it so don't be ashamed about feeling um the need to or the urges for sexual uh intimacy it's, it's part of your body nature so is that it's, a, it's a, a form of an appetite that our body requires to regulate itself as well as other things that um, we need like food drinks and water and all those things is a need okay so however its needs and um its needs and its satisfaction unlike food and anything else that we do take um, goes deeper okay it goes deeper and it is more significant when it's done in a right way and not out of greed uh, or self-satisfaction okay or out of the necessity to simply please the body you get the sense of deep intimacy um, out of I guess self surrender to the one that you choose to love and out of love for the person so you are not doing it to satisfy yourself or you are actually doing it to satisfy the other so it's a form of sacrifice because you are giving your body to another person or another thing or another being okay you should not be yeah another being okay so if if it, if done in the right way and in the godly way it is actually done to satisfy the other or you satisfy each other with it so it must not be done out of just the necessity to please thyself or the necessity to be greedy to greedy yourself out of it okay so that's one thing that you need to, or two things that you need to know about sex now its purpose as I mentioned, doesn't just fulfill our physiological needs, which is where I'm talking about food, water, and etc. Okay, it goes deeper that in, in that that it can lead to procreation. Okay, it goes deeper than that that it can. It, it has a psychological effect on us, and it has a spiritual need. It has a spiritual satisfaction. It has. It fulfills all these things. Our both the physiological needs to release the uh, tension, um, the psychological needs to fulfill ourselves in that mindset, and also the spiritual needs to which is where you talk about the unseen effect of um, sexual intercourse, but it is also felt like it's the, feel the feeling is beyond what you can describe in a, a certain way. So, sex also occupies and. Um, a form of personality so sex occupies an aspect of our personality okay um, because some people have sexual personalities the same way you have different type of personalities in life um, sex your sexual sexual I don't know how to say your sexuality your sex thing is a form of personality that you do have um, so it does occupy if, um, an aspect of our personality Okay, even though it's done in silence and in secrecy, its effect is very vocal and public in the lives of those who participate in it. Okay, every disclosure of sex is a revelation of the innermost being of the person that is disclosing. Okay, this is the reason why it is seen as a thing of 
what's it called of shame if it's done in the wrong way okay so what did i say sex even though it's participated in the secrecy of your room or secrecy of anywhere its effect is public because it's, you showcase it if it's not if you don't see it in your action you often speak about it okay or your body language tells so this is why sexual activities is i guess it has its own place in our life anyways but as i mentioned if done in the wrong way and prematurely and in the wrong time and in the wrong place on the wrong person it can bring a sense of shame because you have given that person a bit of yourself so every sexual intercourse you have um you develop a sense of spiritual connection with the person that you've shared that with and this is why people talk about soul ties okay and if you are violated then it also have a moral deter detrimental <laughs> a more damaging effect on yourself okay so you need to understand the purpose of sex this is the reason why i'm trying to give you these things this is the purpose of sexual intimacy it's not meant for you to for your desire only it's for the desire of another it is also a means of giving yourself to someone else okay and this is why it's a big deal okay um when sex is done in a god a godly manner and in a desired manner that is created for the body and soul meets one another in a unique and special way that is spiritual and honors and glorifies God if the purpose of the intimacy is right and done in the right way. Okay? Why does it honor and glorify God? Because then you are fulfilling the purpose of sexual intimacy in the right context. So if done in out of the right context, it can bring you shame, disgrace, and any other issues that you may encounter along the way. Okay, so that's things that you need to know. Okay, this is the reason why unwanted touch, unwanted sexual harassment, um, sexual abuse in terms of rape contradicts and violates the body because it's not done for the purpose that God created it for. I hope that makes sense. So here is the reason then why I mentioned this whole thing because in the story of Amanda or this in the um, movie of Hope Paradise, Amanda's body was violated. Amanda was a Christian girl who prayed often and went to live with her uncle who was also her employer in his house and the uncle became interested in her but she wasn't aware of this and ended up raping her one night to which led Amanda after everything to join prostitution with her friends because she didn't find a purpose for maintaining her Christian values and um, Christian values in the regards of sexual virtues okay so I, I was thinking what what are the reasons why Amanda fell and what are the reasons why many people when they are sexual um, being or sexual organs are violated or when they are sexually abused why do people leave god or why do people hate themselves why do people go into things like exploiting their body in a wrong way and then go into prostitution and all those things and here are the things that came to my reflection and i mentioned them in the beginning the first one is that because if you are keeping your virginity for the purpose of marriage only you are leaving yourself vulnerable also to those who may come into your life to claim that they would marry you and then giving up your sexual uh, your virginity to say to those people and then finding out that this was never right in the same token i also watched a movie by um, it's a Ghanaian movie and in this movie it was this girl kept her virginity to marriage but he also came to know Avel because the only reason why this man um, married her was to disvirgin her and unfortunately he disgraced her with it by showing 
her um, their intimacy to the friends so and this is the reason why I said you should not keep your virginity for a man or simply just for yourself because you are likely to fall okay because the man can become the abusive partner okay sexual abusive partner okay you yourself can fall victim to also inappropriate or sexual immoralities so that's the reasons why because then if anything happens to you in this in this space of keeping your virginity you are more likely to throw off every garment that you've used to cover yourself you're more likely to throw off any and uh, morals or disciplines or virtues that has been holding you um to the world and just follow what and man that did start exploiting your sexual being um maybe not to the prostitution level but let's be honest someone said if you're sleeping with someone that is not your husband you're also sleeping with a leftover in most cases especially if the person is not a virgin i didn't say it i heard it from ray j <laughs> okay <laughs> who's the singer okay um so really everyone <laughs> everyone is a victim that's what he's trying to say so why then should you keep your virginity you must keep your virginity because it honors God not that it honors you or it protects you or it's what you want to do because you can change your mind anytime but if you're doing it for the purpose that it honors and glorifies God if done in the right way in the case of marriage then you have more reason to hold on and even if the man that you marry end up being a fool at the end of the day you can still take pride and comfort in yourself knowing that you've done the right thing and you follow the right steps that God has predestined for sexual intercourse to happen okay so really in all this talk all I'm saying is don't keep your virginity for yourself for your husband to be but for the fact that it honors God because when issues happen to you rather than throwing off your virtues like Amanda did in that movie you can regain your virtues you can find other virtues and i find that if if you easily let go of every morals you've held because you've been sexually violated it shows that you have not developed a deeper meaning of the purpose of sexual intimacy and the reason why maintaining virginity as a christian is important it also shows that you have not developed other uh, confidence in other areas of your life because your virginity doesn't really on it's not the only thing that makes you who you are okay it's a one aspect of it but your sexual being is only an aspect of your personality and an aspect of who you are so you must not throw all eggs in one basket and that's to say okay okay so you must learn how to develop other spiritual qualities of yours that makes you who you are and this is the things i want you to know there are other spiritual qualities you are loving you are kind find other virtues that counteracts any form of vices in regards to sexual immorality that you have and use that as your motto and as a way to maintain your virtues even when it has been broken by another true sexual violence okay so that's pretty much my advice for this video but if you are maintaining if you continue to maintain your celibacy continue god is always in support of those who choose to honor him with your body and this is why he says the, your body is the temple of the most high because he's not saying he's not saying it's your temple it's a temple for your husband remember he only says it's the temple of the most high he didn't say it's the temple of the man that is yet to marry you he didn't say it's the temple it's your own temple he says it's the temple of god and that's what you need to keep in your mind okay so on that note i hope this video i guess brings some light into this issue so that you do not fall away completely from god when someone chooses to do wrong in this area and don't forget to watch my previous video that i have done on this topic in terms of healing from sexual traumas and sexual abuse and um, definitely check out the video uh, the movie hope's paradise on iroko tv is a nigerian movie you have to sign up to watch it i watched it in someone's house so that's how i was able to get through into it 
so please don't forget to subscribe and share my video if you find it helpful or you think you'll help your child or your friend so pretty much that's my advice do take care bye signing off talk on sam <laughs>